Have any of you ever been around a dog who has no self-control? Or maybe have you been around someone or do you know someone who has no true relationship with their dog? Hi, my name is Clayton Hicks and today I'm going to talk to you about basics, the basics of dog training. So to begin with, there are about 77.8 million dogs owned here in the United States. And as you can see here, there are about 40% right of, of the population right here in, the, in Oklahoma. So before you start training, it is important to understand your dog specifically. The American Kennel Club, according to Dr. Stein, recognizes 190 different breeds and is currently waiting to recognize 10 other breeds. Your dog will likely fall within some of those breeds, maybe a mixture, which you, you can see here. Maybe it's a shug, who knows. Um, but it's important to understand what breed your dog is and understand their physical and mental needs. As an example, this is my dog. She falls within the sporting uh, category because she is a re retriever slash lab and we trained her to be a bird dog. Before we bought her we knew what breed she was and we knew going in that she was not going to be uh, a canine unit or a dog who was going to be monitoring health. No, we knew that she, based on her breed, was going to naturally um, be a sporting dog. Once we under once you understand your uh, your dog's breed and what uh, the specific needs of your breed is, you can choose a training method. Now there are a few different types to do it, but these are the main types of training. Um, first off, your traditional training, which is what you think of when you think of uh, spankings and maybe some physical punishment um, when they do not obey, your, your dog does not obey. There's reward training, which is shown here in this picture where you give the dog some sort of food, usually a treat, um, you know, pet on them, love on them, whenever they do what you ask. Then there's clicker training, which is training based off of cues um, off of like a, a clicker that you can buy at PetSmart or Walmart. Um, different cues stand for different um, uh, different tasks and, and whatnot. And lastly, there's dog whispering. So we've all heard about the um, the horse whisperer, the person who can talk to horses. Well, similarly, um, you have dog whispering. And it's not necessarily talking to the dog, it's kind of mimicking the dog. It's a theory that says that if the dog does something wrong, you can teach it not to do what it did um, by showing it, like like repeating what the dog did. So if it bit somebody, you could bite the dog and show um, that <clears throat> that is not what it should be doing. Um, according to Mr. Walton, uh, dog whispering is it's it's a very basic form of mimicking the dog. So when your dog leaves you a nice little present in the middle of your room. You do not pull your pants down and mimic the dog. No, it's more uh, it's, some, it's a more basic level than that. After deciding your, your method, uh, it's important to start with just some basic commands. And that's whatever you decide is right for you and your dog. Um, this can be sitting, staying, fetching, um, going and getting uh, a tennis ball, what, whatever, whatever it is that you want the dog to do. Um, this, this can be it, getting the newspaper, whatever. Next, it's important to teach them self-control. Self-control is key in your relationship with your dog and your dog's relationship with others. Um, self-control, I mean, like at the beginning, I asked if you had ever seen or been around a dog that had no self-control. Self-control being jumping around, can't wait to go outside. Uh, and this can be taught, according to Erin Murkowski, she said that this can be taught by just some simple training techniques such as waiting to eat and waiting to go through the door until told to, told to do so. Next, it's important to socialize your dog. Socialization is key in all relationships, just as in humans as it is in dogs. So this can be taught in just going to a dog park, going to new um, areas, going exploring, just experiencing new things on a day-to-day -day basis that will help your dog um, be able to build relationships and be more well-rounded. So. If, it, if you don't take anything away from this, remember, social, socialize your dog, teach them some basic commands, and lastly, uh, make sure that your dog is, has some self-control. Start, start with all that, and you should be good to go.